prayer today is, uh, O God of creation, you have blessed us with the changing of the seasons. Remind us of your wonder of your creations. Remind us that it is you who give us breath of life. Amen. Amen. Thanks. So organized here. <laughs> yeah. you, you missed started the this recorder, part right? of that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you started the recorder, yes, right? I did. I okay. got that part. That one I remember. <laughs> okay, so today's financials included cash transfer from the general fund to Court Technology for a portion of their 2021 funding. Among the encumbrances are a travel expense request from JFS to attend the 2021 Public Children's Services Association of Ohio Annual Conference. And a formal contract from Water Resources to HDR Engineering Incorporated for services related to the McFarland Wastewater Treatment Plant upgrade and renovation project. Among the vouchers are 25675 from the Auditor's Office to Geocentric Consulting Incorporated for GIS Mapping Data Conversion Services, 87602 from the Engineer's Office to Southeastern Equipment for a Case Model 721G Articulated Wheel Loader. 199,545.26 from the engineer's office to Aeromark Incorporated for the polyester pavement marking of various roads in Jolly County. And $231,420.82 from Water Resources to Workman Industrial Services Incorporated for the final pay request number 14 for the Auburn Corners Troy Oaks project. And finally, revenue certifications from the Board of DD, Transit, and Water Resources for additional revenue to be received in 2021. Make that motion. Second. Sorry. Roll call. Roll call vote. Commissioner Dubois. Yes. Commissioner Lennon. Yes. Commissioner Sizzler. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adrian. All right. Clear. Archives, please. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, I'm asking for an uh, increase of $3,000 to uh, Tamboran. Mm -hmm. I underestimated the amount of film we'll be making now that we have a second scanner. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to make it up. Great, great. And um, just real quick, how, how's Tamboran doing? Great. Good, good. Great, exactly. yeah. You feel like you're making a dent in it? And yes, you, yeah. we are. Okay. We're trying. Yeah. It's the gift that never stops giving, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your uh, hard work. You know, a lot of it goes unnoticed, you know, but I, we do appreciate it. So, um, you know, you're you're out there uh, herding the cats, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Keeping us organized. Yes. Yeah. Trying. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, um, good. Good. Second. Mr. Schuller. Hi. Yes. Yes. I appreciate your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. The ladies this, this morning. <laughs> um, so um, we're here for um, number three and number four. Um, this is for asking for you guys to approve our 4D contracts with both the prosecutor's office and um, the courts. And so this is Tracy Elzawi. She's the director of our child support. Um, very mighty director, small in stature, but fierce in every other way. <laughs> Getting collecting dollars for the for the county from people that don't want to pay. So, but I'll allow uh, Tracy explain a little bit more. Um, well, as Craig said, I'm the director of child support here in the county, and I'm here for the approval of our annual child support contracts with the prosecutor's office and the court of common pleas. Um, these contract does, contracts permit us to pay for the work done by the prosecutor's office and the common pleas magistrates on behalf of the program here in Geauga County. They are li liable under Title 40 of the Social Security Act. Um, and once we pay the county for the work that's done by the prosecutor's office and the magistrates, we actually do get reimbursement at 66% through federal funds. Mm -hmm. There's no cost to this, the general fund for these contracts. These contracts actually allow us to bring money back into the county. As reimbursement. Okay, so, great. And this is something we do annually. Every, every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. We'll make the motion on second. Uh, second. Commissioner Larry. Hi. Commissioner Lynn. Hi. Commissioner 
Yes. Great. Well, thank Thanks you so for very much. much. Have a good Absolutely day. great to see you. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. We've got a number of items. Um, we'll start with uh, requesting um, the board approve and execute contract maintenance form number one with Bill Conti Plumbing. Uh, we just need to increase the contract to accommodate some work that needs to be done at Ace Hardware, um, replacing and installing some water meters. Now, is this uh, place uh, Bainbridge? Yes. Mm -hmm. Make that motion. Second. Mr. Spillery. Yes. Yes. Um, next, um, we are asking the board to approve and execute um, a contract agreement with practical inspections. Uh, they perform interior and exterior painting inspection services. Um, this is related to the water tower painting improvement project um, for a period of one year, not to exceed forty thousand. So this group is doing the inspections, but not the painting. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Would, would this be like in coordination with the ones that we approved last week? Um, as in the contract for the painting? Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. This is a like an outside inspecting of what the work they're doing. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And it's how, how many not, towers do we have? We have two. Two. Mm -hmm. And so service center and in Bainbridge. Gotcha. And so for a period of one year, mm -hmm. not, not to exceed forty thousand. What what uh, typically is a that we spent in years past on this. Jerry, any info on that? Mm -hmm. It's um, been many years since we've Yeah, I was going to say, the last time we did, we did painting was about 10 years ago. Okay. So I don't remember exactly what we... Sorry, I and I will say it's not. It's likely not going to be anywhere near 40. It was more of a not to exceed so that we have enough so I don't have to increase it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this I mean, is kind of like a, a miniature owner's rep, which goes in there and actually checks the other guy's work. Right, he's checking like the quality of the paint. They'll be, yeah, they'll yeah. be checking to make sure that they're using the right paint, that right. they're putting on the right thickness of paint, and that they'll, and they'll be there they'll during the time that they're there during the time that things are painting. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they do this prior or after or during? During. 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 Yeah. Okay. Actually, I should say before, during, and after. Okay. So they're they're reviewing the specs that the that the painting company submits. Okay. With the paint, and then they'll be you know doing making sure they're painting, doing everything properly. And then they'll be checking the, like, the thickness and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I don't know much about this subject, but, you know, I just, my initial take is it seems like a lot of money to inspect two towers. I know those things are big, right? Yeah. So it, it is was, there something I'm missing? He, he had hourly, it's like a, a day rate for him mm -hmm. to come out. And like I said, we, we went kind of on the very high end mm -hmm. so that I don't have to increase the contract again later down the road because we don't know how many times he'll actually be coming out. So you have to do a, a guesstimate, like okay. I said. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be more like yeah, half, a, maybe that, half of that amount. Scene, so we, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we don't have anybody on staff to do this. Unfortunately Check not. It. Right. We don't we, have anybody with the, with the background or credentials the credit to be inspecting. Right. Okay. I mean, it's not like putting in a sewer line. Putting in a sewer line, right. we'd, be, we'd be inspecting it. Yeah. And right. they paint the, this is the interior and exterior. Yes. So yep. going, yeah. <laughs> and okay. it's really the interior is the big reason why we have the yeah. inspector out there. If okay. Just an exterior, we won't be hiring an inspector, but okay. we're doing it because it's the interior and that's where it, that that's where the, water, the the corner the, the treated water will be touching. So yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion to Hi. Motion to Yes. Motion to Yes. All right. Next, um, we have uh, we're requesting uh, the board approve and execute a contract with Endress and Hauser. Uh, they perform recalibration of flow meters, and they um, also have, um, we may use them for installation of monitoring devices for temperature and pH level. Because right now our devices are not all the same type of device, so we may end up using them to get um, so that all the devices are the same, you know, the same type, and so that therefore the data is cohesive. Um, but but definitely for the recalibration of flow meters, and this is uh, mostly done at McFarland. Okay, I'll make that motion. Second. Commissioner Spiller. Aye. Commissioner Lynn. Yes. Commissioner Devore. Yes. All right. Next one. Oh, next one has to do with the county credit card that was um, we were authorized to 
uh, acquire, now we would uh, like authorization to use the credit card. Mm -hmm. um, it's with Jaga Credit Union for the year of 2021 with a monthly not to exceed amount of $2,500. Um, and it would be um, Director Stephen Olowich, our um, maintenance and operations um, supervisor, Dave Osborne, myself, and the accounts payable person who would have authorization to use that. And it's for travel purposes only for like trainings. Gotcha. All right, I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. Swidler? Yes. Mr. Dewar? Yes. Okay, last but not least, we would um, like to be granted permission to advertise for the position of a maintenance worker um, down at our McFarland Wastewater Treatment Plant. I'll make that motion. Second. Mr. Swidler? Yes. Thank you. 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 Okay. Talk about okay. seven color health insurance. Is that time of year we renew our health care? So number 10, we're requesting that you approve and accept the SEBCO Jolly County rate renewal acceptance for 2022. Okay. Um, Jerry, is this the rates we were discussing? The this, this is just the SEBCO version of it. Okay. Okay. how we will distribute it gotcha. to the employer. Okay. All right. right. Motion. Second. Mr. Swiller? Aye. Mr. Lyons? Aye. Mr. Dewar? Yes. Position. Mr. Lemon, did you? Did you have a chance to discuss with everybody on the um, No, that was. We're going to table number 11, right? Number 11? Um, just the contribution rate. Just the contribution rate. So this is, again, this is the same thing as this is approving the SEBCO agreement, but not how we distribute it. Gotcha. This is approving the actual health care plans, the 1D, the 4D, the 1C, and the dental plan. Very good. Okay. Do you want we need a motion on one? Sorry, you don't make a motion. Uh, second. Mr. Spillane? Yes. Number 12, we're requesting to approve the lowest rate for the January 2022. That's the option that people have if yep. they don't want our health care. They can opt out. They can opt out and get a payout at the end of the year. We haven't changed that. It's been sure. Yep. Same for years. Okay. I'll make the second. Mr. Hi. Mr. Hi. Mr. Yes. And lastly, number 13, um, with our wellness program, we're joining again with Health Works and SEBCO uh, for their wellness program for the period of August 13th, 2021 through August 12th. Second. Mr. Swiller? Aye. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. The next item is a change, is change order number five with regards to the new building. This is for the uh, BMV location and our further discussions with them. Mm -hmm. They've asked for some adjustments. Yep. Um, this change order will be rolled into the rent that we'll be charging the BMV. Very so good. There's no, there's no addition, but there's additional cost to the county up front, but we we'll will get it covered. Yeah, and, um, and this was reviewed by the um, clerk and, and approved, and they're okay with this. This is BMV. Oh, so BMV. Clerk, yeah, okay, this, this is a different. This is not, yeah. yeah, this yeah. isn't title. This is, okay. This is our outside yeah, yeah, agreement with yeah. the state. So. I was thinking of the other change. Yes, okay. I'll make that motion. Um, second. Mr. Spiller? Right. Mr. Lennon? Yes. Mr. Dubar? Yes. And the, the next item is change order number six. This is regards to the Board of Elections. This is the change order of what we had approved when we did the walkthrough with them for so the adjustment of increasing the their lobby size uh, so that they have more place for voting mm -hmm. and moving the uh, the their meeting room out of the, you know to increase the lobby size adding the, uh, the the additional bathrooms and some additional shelving for their storage mm -hmm. um, the, the number is 104,000 I verified that had them you know, do me a good do a good breakdown um, NB5 did it's it's you know it's it's a large number but it's basically every trade was involved and it's like you know five to ten thousand dollars per trade sure to get that yeah. all off the biggest expense was the redo of the uh, the sprinkler system okay yep yep yeah I'm comfortable with this you know this is again dates back to um, you know initially where I took uh, board members and employees of the board of elections on a tour of the facility and went through their space. And, um, you know, we were all in agreement at the time of these changes. And, 
you know, and Jerry went to follow up with their board at, um, a few days after to confirm that these changes were indeed what they uh, envisioned because there has been, um, as everybody knows, multiple changes coming from the Board of Elections over the last uh, probably say two years, three years. They've had, I think, three different uh, directors. And it seems as though there's been some type of uh, communication issue with their board and their directors and their employees. Um, but, um, you know, these, uh, this project is, again, it's moving forward, and uh, these will be the changes. Unfortunately, um, the board itself has not been a participant in uh, working with us as a partner in solving these issues and has uh, instead decided to go a different route and um, look into getting legal counsel for, to do their uh, bidding for them, I guess. But... Uh, Again, this is this is the uh, these are just another you know Jerry I, I guess dating back to even the changes prior to this um, you know the ones that were our initial plans and then it was changed again and then I think it was changed again I, I would say I mean when we sat down and added this up this was probably closer to about two hundred thousand um, dollars when you add in the those changes the Construction changes, yes, two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. When you start adding in the additional work for the architect and the um, owner's rep that was not expected originally, as mm -hmm. well as some additional work that Donnelly's had to do, it, we, it bumps up to about four hundred thousand. Adding in over that, the two hundred thousand is just the additional construction yeah. costs. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, we've. I, I, I think this board and yourself, Jerry, and, and, and our architects, we tried to bend over backwards to accommodate not the, just the Board of Elections, but everybody that's going to be moving into this building. Obviously, we have to work within a budget. There's wants and needs, and we had to make certain accommodations for everybody, but we tried to do the best we could to get everybody under this one roof and, and still be able to accomplish what they need to accomplish and, and providing a good product to the residents of this county. And we had, there was plenty of discussions with the architect and the, the different departments throughout the whole process uh, you know, in going through that. And I think you said anything. Part of the big reason with board of, that we had some issues with Board of Elections was their change in staff, their change in the directors who we were talking to. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like every time that changed, there was some you know different different opinions on how it should be set up yeah and that's yeah. Where, you know. but but just to be just to be very clear with everybody that this last set of changes was um, at the time agreed by um, you know on site these these changes were with our with the architect with the board with their employees with us Correct. and then a second time we went to the you went to their board meeting reviewed all of these changes and everybody nodded Yes. Like this, yes, there was, yeah. It you know, went like there this. Was a, there was an agreement and then, that, we yeah. were, you know, this is okay. what we talked about. This is what we we're going to do. And okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. I'm I'm comfortable with that. Did we vote on that? Um, oh, we need a motion. Yep. Motion. Yeah, motion. Second. Commissioner Spiller. Aye. Commissioner Lange. Yes. Commissioner Black. Yes. And then we have another item. Ralph, you want to bring that up? Yep. Yeah, uh, just a motion for uh, approve uh, Joe Weiss on that board for the uh, public defenders. Okay. Uh, the previous member, he passed away, correct? Yeah, Bob Zuland. Bob Zuland. So we'll be appoint appointing Joe Weiss. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll, um, I'll second that. Mr. Spillane? Aye. Mr. Lennon? Yes. Mr. Dwork? Yes. Okay. Um, I have one addition also. Um, we've been, the board approved the uh, prosecutor to go out for Venice for the phase two of the building at the uh, <coughs> um, at the fair, when the session at the fair. Yep. We're going back and forth with the uh, agreement with them right now and just asking for the board to approve me, the county administrator, to sign off on that agreement once we get it finalized so we don't have to wait for another session. Okay, very good. And that that um, that that hiring of Benish is in uh, regards to our um, call it our future phase two or looking at the future uh, capital improvement projects and helping us organize and going out for requests for proposals. 
Correct. And, and, and doing, say, feasibility studies or consulting work for the remainder of our um, this, the properties that the county owns. Correct. Correct. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. Commissioner Stillery? Aye. Commissioner Lynn? Aye. Commissioner Lynn? Yes. <clears throat> Uh, Jim, please here. Oh, yeah. So yeah. everybody can see Jim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't see you sneak in. <laughs> I didn't know you got a promotion. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's good. It's it's the just, a, just another job that I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm just the messenger. Um, <laughs> So the, um, the issue came up last week. Obviously, the Board of Elections has repeatedly requested legal counsel to advise them. I can't, our office can't advise them regarding the new building because we're advising you. So, um, you know, I don't often pick sides, but I think we made it, given the, the scope of the building project and the various different departments and offices involved, um, we made it pretty clear at the beginning that you know, we were representing the commissioners on the building project and that if anybody had issues, they were going to be on their own. So we really have not had any problems except the Board of Elections. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's been the opposite case. I think everybody's pretty excited about it, mm -hmm. um, getting in there, getting new space. Um, and I, I think, Tim, I think you, you said it very well at the Board of Elections. I, you know, here's the, the problem is, you know, I narrowed, I did, I revised that based upon your feedback. Um, I narrowed the scope, scope significantly. Um, you know, it's up to you to, I mean, I know you don't want to approve it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you know what I mean? But yeah. if you don't approve it, then they're just going to file a mandamus sure. against sure. you. Sure, no, sure. Listen, I, like I told you the other day, I said, I, I, I'm not trying to deny anybody legal counsel, I, even if it's completely silly or frivolous or not. You know, I think everybody has the right to legal counsel, and that's not what I was trying to say. I was trying to say, and Jerry will back me up on this, is I thought that they needed to be, specific in what their request was for not to me personally or even the board but to the public as to why they're ready to engage in going down this path to spend we just got done proving what one hundred and five thousand dollars we've you know we've been north of three hundred and fifty some thousand total with them and now they're ready to go ahead and just frivolously in my mind opinion go off and spend who knows how much on legal costs for what when they should be sitting at the table with us you know or, or at least Jerry saying here's what we'd like to do you know this might not work for us but could you do this or you know trying to negotiate and work work that and that's what I think the residents of this county expect from everybody including the Board of Elections is to figure it out right figure it out do your job and figure it out you know they're getting paid we're getting paid our time to perform a job and do something you know and figure it out not to go out racing and get attorneys I can tell you in my profession my job that is the last thing I will do want to do is go into my pocket and I, you probably do the same it's coming up with I don't care if it's five grand or 50 grand or 500 grand. nobody wants to spend money on legal fees unless it's absolutely necessary because at the it's very simple to negotiate and solve these problems we're all adults we could solve this problem it's very easy and um, so you know, uh, again, you know, I'm not trying to deny anybody legal counsel. That's not what we're not tr sitting here trying to play games. And you know, you know, I've I've seen there's some things written in the paper that are just completely <coughs> false on their face. Is to what I'm hearing back from the board of elections, which is just unfortunate, really. And um, you know, I'm not sure who we're even really dealing with there. I don't, you know, I don't know if there's a point person or if they work as a group or how that works. But. Um, you know, I think, I think, uh, you know, I think what you came up with is a little more specific. Uh, you know, I don't know if they, they these are their <coughs> words or not, but um, I'm comfortable with the way it's proposed now. Um, and I hope whoever does represent this group, you know, knocks a little common sense into their brain and, and shows them exactly what a, you know, opportunity missed they've had over the last four or five months and not being sitting at the table being a 
uh, partner with us in this. And you know, and J you know, Jim and and myself and Ralph have said, look, you've got a hundred percent of our support. You know, this is what we were trying to say. You've got a blink. Here's four walls, and you guys tell us what you want inside those walls. I mean, I don't know what else you could. You know, it's just not logical. It's, no, I, know. I, listen. I think um, I, I totally hear you. I put a. You know, based upon the proposal we received, I put a $5,000 cap in there. It's mm -hmm. just, you know, it's just for advice only. There's no litigation component. If they want to try to do the litigation, they can come back mm -hmm. um, to you, and then we'll have the discussion then about authorizing counsel for that. But, I mean, you you know, you've said you want them to sit at the table. I mean, Jerry sat at the table with them three different times. Right. You guys have been. I've been, I've been to two of their meetings. And yeah. architects. Yeah, Jerry. I mean, the architects aren't free. Like, our time is free. No, but I. The architect's not free, and they've been there. I don't know how many times, and they've, they've turned to us. These guys look at us like, what, you know, am I, you know, they've been doing, this is what they do for as a profession for decades, these guys, and they're looking at us like, you know, am I not, you know, speaking English, or what, what's going on here, you know? You know, yeah. My, I think I've said this before. My only hope is that them having a lawyer will help the that's situation, what, because yeah. A, that's somebody that I can directly talk to, mm -hmm. And there's no, you know, well, you, you talk to the old director, you talk to the deputy director, you talk to one of the board members, we, you know, we yeah. had four different answers, we talked to three different people. Exactly. So I think that might help. Um, you know, the other thing I, I, I mean, legally, and I don't want to delve into the merits too much, but I just don't know how anyone objectively could say that the space that you're providing them down there is inferior to what they have right now, That's right. which they've said is fine. By the yeah, way, yeah. I mean, they've got stuff in hallways. It, it, it's yeah, yeah. It, it, so one, I mean, it's laughable of, to me. I, yeah. I don't. That was one of their statements: is they can just stay where they're at. Yeah, which <laughs> yeah, right. which isn't well, an option. so. Um, but I, I, again, yeah. somebody would have to look at this and say that you're you're not only. I mean, you actually could provide them with inferior space legally. You just right. can't. Pro can't provide somebody with space that prohibits them from doing or inhibits them from doing Correct. their statutory duties. Correct. And I don't know, again, they did a great job with the, the cards they were dealt last election. Yeah, and, and and to be fair, they did, but also maintenance did. Maintenance did, and I'm sorry, yeah. but yeah. that was a cluster. Yeah. I mean, the, the traffic up here, that tent outside, mm -hmm. I talked to people that were waiting for hours, the there line. were like three machines going, yeah. the line wrapping through the maintenance garage. Mm -hmm. You know, again, they were dealt some of a bad hand. Absolutely. Totally agree with that. But for anybody to say that that was an acceptable way to conduct early voting, Correct. knowing what we know now and having time to prepare, That's right. if we had to do that again, they're gonna, they would do the exact same thing. Yeah, and that was really my conversation from the jump and in, in talking to certain board members there was, look, we don't know what the future may hold with you know these laws that they could change tomorrow. You know, next thing you know, you could be on your cell phone doing this, or we, you know, we just don't know. And what we've tried to say to them is, look, we will be flexible with you on whatever changes come down the line. This is how you do it. You know, this is we'll work together in this. You know, maintenance, which is a, um, um, a department under the commissioners, was there really 24/7 to support these elections. Without maintenance being there. It would have been like you said a cluster they would have been out in the rain and the snow standing around the parking lot milling you know like you know I, I just don't think they give the residents enough credit that you know there's been talk about not being able to stand in lines or they don't know how to get in lines you know there's all these concerns they're having about like the what ifs and I said look we, the what ifs are that's that's what we're gonna have to figure out because we don't know yet you know so um, yeah, for the longest time they had three people voting with the long lines. Yeah. At the new building, there's going to be eight people voting at the, at the same time. Mm -hmm. Plus, they can use the entire back for staging area. They have their own loading dock. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can there's go on tons. and on. There's tons. There's tons. And, and as far as the storage argument, it just it's not true. There, we've we've you know measured these new voting machines, which we spent a ton of money on, um, and you know we've got. Uh, its own designated room just for these machines to sit there 11 months out of the year or whatever it is you know and um, um, and that goes for you know the Board of Elections has I think three employees or four employees most times around the year but you know when that space needs to expand 
that's what this building was designed to do. It, it lives and breathes, this thing. So we, we've got tons of room around this building, not just in the board of election space, but throughout the, and, and it was designed for that, you know, for growth. So um, I, again, I'm, I'm pretty much done talking about this. You know, at this point, we've got the plans, the, the buildings going up, if anyone's paying attention, it's, it's under construction. Um, like I said, I, th I think it's unfortunate that the board hasn't been a, uh, an equal partner sitting through this process with us, talking about and, and observing these changes with us. So um, we've had to do some mind reading without them at the table, but um, we've hired some very good professionals to do that in our place. So with that being said, I'm, I'm done talking about it. All right. <laughs> well, you want to give them the lawyer? I mean, I... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, kinda have to. I, I mean, <laughs> I think it's like you said, it, it'd probably be better if you talk to their attorney and we can just keep going forward. That, that's what I would prefer at this point because right now I, I can't get a clear answer from anybody right. over there. And, uh, and, and look, I don't want to waste more money by having them then go out and fill a mandate, file a mandamus, then we have to go through this whole thing. I mean, which, you know, I, I just don't want to be wasteful in that way. In, in, but it's really, don't blame me for being wasteful. <laughs> you know, don't blame mm -hmm. me. No, I yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I'll make that motion. Second, you want to read it for yeah, a yeah. Read it just a yeah. The prosecutor's office is requesting the board approve and authorize the president of the board to execute the application of prosecuting attorney and Geauga County Board of Commissioners for appointment of legal counsel for the board of elections of Teague and Colombo LLC regarding the proposed office space in the new Geauga County office building in the capped amount of five thousand. Motion was made and second. second. Yeah. Motion to Larry. Hey. Motion to Yes. Motion to work. Yes. Okay, I'll keep you. All right. So what's going on? Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Because even in the even in the storage area, they're going to have double the amount of storage because in the basement it's 16 foot high ceilings, and if they move in, you know, they put a mezzanine in there, metal mezzanine. Uh, to get up and out, so they double their square footage with a mezzanine inside the storage. But we have had no communication since they talked about getting an attorney. Hopefully, their attorney and our attorney, which is you, will communicate in a better fashion than, than the uh, election board. Good luck. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, wanna, hey, if we want a straight answer, it might be worth the yeah. five grand. As I say, one other thing, too, when those new voting machines were delivered. They were delivered into the garage of Building 8. And they were, able to, they were able to do yeah. everything that the Board of Elections was able to do, everything they needed to do to get them up and running and verified they were all working in that space, which is smaller than the storage space they're getting. Absolutely. Yep. 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 So, the, again, like I said, a lot of the things that I'm hearing just aren't, they're just not based on fact. You know, like this I, I don't even know who Dennis Polifka or, or what's it, it Pavala or I don't, I don't know. Pavala. I'm not even sure who he is. Pavala. Or but he he's you know, the president. Was, okay, and he I have not met him. I've met all the rest of the board members, but he seems to be their spokesperson in the newspapers and making comments about um, how we designed this after Lake County's facilities and that That's there's the no storage the and there's I mean there just goes on and on and on and. and, and We've corrected it a number of times to, to try and uh, answer that question back to the, the people that wanted to know, and uh, it just it continues on the same thing. So, again, I to me, I it's not logical and it it points to politics to me. I believe he's the the Democrat board member, and I don't know if he's just looking to um, cause issue or you know I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I, like I said, I'm done. So, yeah, yeah. No, and the, the, listen, the, I'll just one more thing. The change order you just approved, I, I think that was smart. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, you've designed and built out the space mm -hmm. the way they've specified, as far as you know. I mean, mm -hmm. all the design and build out has been based upon communications from them. Now, we've got conflicting communications, but I think the last meeting that you and Jim were at, where you, we thought it was settled, mm -hmm. you're building it how they said they wanted it. That point in time, yeah. have they changed their mind since then? Since then, yes, it seems so. 
but that can't be our problem. Yeah. You can't change your mind eight times when a building's being built. Yeah, and just to, just to, I think, make a point or to clarify, but that the employees of the Board of Elections have been excellent. They really have. They've been very forthright in, in, in giving us some ideas and the architect's ideas of how it actually works on the, uh, during an election, you know, the, the, the details, so to say, and they've been fantastic. So when we've offered them a uh, resolution to um, some of their, you know, issues, they said, no, that won't work, but if you could do this, and so we've taken those type of things into consideration. That's really what it's based on, is what the employee's input was. Um, the board members, it seem as though they're, they're individually micromanaging and you know maybe Jason, like I said, whack a mole. It's, it, it reminds me of whack a mole with the, with them. So, okay, okay. Well, thanks. Yep. Thank you very good. Thanks. Good deal. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, Appreciate right. it. Thank yep. Thank you, Jim. I'll see you. Bye bye. Is there any public comment? Go ahead. Uh, Gail Rusey, League of Women Voters. I just had a couple questions. So the state auditor's audit is that like a yearly process that happens? Yes. Um, and also um, the budget hearings start next week. Is that an all day? And will there be a listing of which? Yes. Yeah. There's yep. a schedule. Um, do you, do you, um, what day does it start? I believe we're doing it and it starts next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, next okay. Tuesday. And will they be here in this building? In this building? Yeah, yes. yep, yep, and those are open right. to the public, yeah. so you're welcome to come sit and listen. And um, th there is a schedule, a list of all the different departments and offices, so you'll be able to pick and choose which one you want to come listen to. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Where will that list be? Um, I think we I, can. I can get to you the, this afternoon. It was approved by the board. I think at the fair was when yep. you guys approved the, the yeah. schedule. It's available so. now, so we'll okay. get that out. Right. So uh, I should talk uh, to you after the meeting? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. In the corner? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, hi, Jenny Salmon Scott's Chester Lane. Um, a few months ago, you approved a position for assistant director in senior services to help with the um, what do you call those uh, places? They, I can't think of them. Maybe. Senior centers? Yes, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. And that was such a great thing to do because the director has stated she's thinking of retiring. So now there's going to be a smooth transition and less disruption of services when she does retire because she has someone in the wings learning the job. I think there's a few departments in the county that they don't have that benefit. One of the most important is the mental health, board, mental health board, and I don't know if you have the authority to ask them to appoint someone to be an assistant and to learn what Jim Adams is doing. He's a long-time retire or hire. We don't know if he'll get a job offer or he'll do something different, but that service is, has a major impact on the CASA and other programs, and there should be a, a seamless transition. Someone should be learning that job and I'm just asking you to, the departments you are in, in uh, charge of, if you could please ask their director who's learning your job and who can take over if you have an emergency or if you decide to leave. Thank you so much. Yeah, good point. Yeah, succession plans are you know, important. Through, and I know Jerry, you know, with under the commissioner's hiring authority, has tried to um, yeah, do we, that. We have addressed, we're addressing that. There's certain departments we don't really have the ability to do that because there's only two people in the department or one person in the department. But uh, you know, in most of our other departments, we do have a set hierarchy on who would who would be able to move into the new position if that person were to leave. Thank you. Good point. Yes, go ahead. Last question. Uh, just a curiosity question. Mm -hmm. uh, Chuck from Troy Township. Uh, the position of director of uh, Board of Elections, is that uh, an appointed position or an elected position? There's four people on the on the board. Yes. And the president, or the chairman of the Democratic Party, and another Democrat, and the chairman of the Republican Party. Oh, no. Jim, could you explain that better? There's four people. There's, there's, there's four people on the Board of Elections. Yeah. The two major parties in, in the state. Right. Which are the parties that got the top two most votes in the last gubernatorial election, which has pretty much been Republican and Democrat for many years. Um, 
the two political parties each appoint two board members through what their executive committees. So their executive committees, technically they make a recommendation. So the executive committees make a recommendation to the Secretary of State, and the Secretary of State appoints two Democrats and two Republicans. They're staggered two-year terms. Okay. And then, or I'm sorry, staggered four-year terms. So every two years they're doing two. And then whatever party is the chair of the Board of Elections, so if a Dem right now a Democrat member of the, of the board is the chair, then the director needs to be of the opposite political party. So the director is a Republican, and the deputy director is a Democrat. So that's how it works. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Glad right. I was here. Motion. Yeah. 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 Right. That's what Jim just said. Right. Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Yes. Second that. All, all favor. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. But we we have uh, the state.